we are going to make exercise 9 so this exercise so as you can see in the drawing if you see from this side this view we have this front view so we are going to draw a simple sketch to circle and then define the dimension the circle of one uh, one circle has the diameter of four and we are going to add an equal relation for the other circle and for the position of this circle from this coincident point this one it has distance of one so front plane and simply draw these this sketch so make sure the units are in inches as the units are given here are also in inches okay so sketch open the sketch and select the front plane for the base sketch and select the circle tool and the center of the circle must be coincident with this origin so move your mouse on this origin and draw a circle like that drag it and left click to place it then again draw a circle here randomly and we will define the position dimension and relation between them then smart dimension tool and select this circle and add a diameter of four inches and then we are going to define the relation between them so press the control and select this circle and this circle and when you selected it under the properties you have add relation select equal so these two circle will have a relation of equal so having the same diameter next we are going to again press control and select this origin and this center of the circle or circle and add relation select horizontal so these two center point have the relation of horizontal okay next we are going to move this circle here so they are intersecting each other then go to trim tool so just select a circle and drag it like that and trim tool select the trim tool under trim to closer activate this one and select this and this arc no they have a relation like that then go to smart dimension tool and select the center of this circle and then select this coincident point and move upward so you you will have a horizontal dimension if you place a dimension like that we call it horizontal dimension like that and this one have one so now you can see the sketch is complete and it's fully defined now exit the sketch and then extrude it so make sure you selected this sketch then select extrude base boss so now we are extruding this sketch we needed to find its its depth so go to drawing and you can see here we have the depth of two inches okay so type two here like that and check mark now we completed this step move to next step for the next step we are going to use the shell to make it empty to remove this material we can also uh, make the sketch and then student cut but i am going to use the um, feature which is shell feature okay so now select the shell feature and here define 0 0.5 and for this face click this box and select this face and like that so you will have achieve uh, this design like that if it, it remove the material here okay no no go to the drawing and here you can see we have two cuts here at this position we can add these cuts okay go to sketch and click this sketch and select this face and then go to normal to you and here we are going to select this polygon and make sure the side is r6 and inscribe circle so draw first so move your mouse and move it on this origin so you have your uh, center point here in the region and draw like that then draw second polygon move your mouse here on this edge so it will show you the center of this arc this circle and move your uh, mouse here so this point this center of the polygon is coincident with the center of this circle like that and then check mark and then right click to select so the polygon tool is deactivated next we needed to add the relation and dimension so select this line and add a relation for this line a horizontal relation and again select this line and add a relation horizontal like that and then smart dimension tool select this line and then bottom line and add a 
diameter of one and again this and this line and diameter of one okay so the diameter is given one here okay now exit this cat go to feature and extruded cut and select under the direction one select through all so it will make a through all cut and make sure the direction is correct okay now move to the next feature what we are going to do now these two circular cylindrical tabs are remaining so to add them we needed to shift our plane at this position from the top side to this location here where we have this so 0 0.75 and then we are going to add another plane with the reference of uh, this line like that and it has an angle of 0 0.5 and 0 0.665 uh, degree it's 110 degree and the other one 65 degree okay now go to the features and here under the reference geometry expand it and select plane and select this face and we needed to uh, uh, use this flip offset so it will uh, shift the direction and here we are going to type 0 0.75 like that so we created our new plane which is offset from this face and again when this plane is selected go to sketch and open the sketch on this plane and then normal to you okay so we are going to draw some uh, one center line from this this origin like that a uh, horizontal line then select the line tool draw a line like that and then select to deactivate the line then again line tool and from this origin at this origin draw a line like that make sure the line co line is coincident with this center point of this uh, this circle okay now select the smart dimension tool and select this center line and this line and add an angle between them 110 and again select this line and this center line and add an angle 65 degree between them and then we needed to define the position dimension from this point so select this point then press the shift make sure you press the shift and then move your mouse here on this on this circle on this edge and place a dimension like that so move your mouse like that so this has 0 0.5 and again add select this point and then press shift and select this edge so when this dimension appear uh, click left click and place this dimension right there and it's 0 0.5 five like that and then exit this sketch now we just add this sketch so for this sketch we are going to make the reference plane so go to feature and select reference um, geometry and then plane and for the first point select this line and for the second reference select this point point on the top zoom and when you see this point select it so it will have a plane normal to this point and this line for the uh, line it have it will have a perpendicular relation and for the point this point it will have the coincident relation so our plane is created which is normal to this line and check mark okay now use this plane to make a sketch so go to sketch select the sketch tab so it will ask on which plane you want to open the sketch we will select this sketch okay and then rotate the model like that or you can also go here and uh, normal to you like that and i am going to select this plane one and i am going to hide it okay like that so we can easily see this point so select the circle tool and we needed to draw this circle the center of the circle must be coincident with this with this origin the red arrows so here at this position it's coincident and then see the dimension of this one so it has 0 0.75 smart dimension tool and 0 0.75 and no it is not having the relation for this circle so move your mouse on this coincident point and then press delete to delete this relation and now you can see so select this center
so select the center and move it like that and then press the control select this center point and then this region point i am also going to hide this sketch so click on this sketch and hide it okay so now move your mouse and also this plane hide it so now normal to you Zero point seven five. Okay, we can do it in other way. Normal to you, and this point and this edge have the relation of zero point seven five, like that. Okay, uh, if you can define this relation, it's okay. But uh, I think there is something which is not letting me. Uh, to define this relation i don't know what it, what it's causing if you know it please comment so exit this sketch and then go to feature and use the extruded base boss and we will select the uh, expand this direction one and select up to surface and it will ask on which surface till which surface you want to make the extrude so select this inner surface so it will add extrude like that okay then again go to sketch open the sketch on this on this tab and draw a circle and make a circle and for this circle select this uh, act, and move your mouse on this edge so it will activate its center and draw this uh, circle which is coincident with the other circle okay then smart dimension tool and it has the dimension of 5 divided by 16 we have it uh, here the thread value which is telling us it has okay so go to feature extruded cut and again select the up to surface and select this surface to make this and like that okay now the other cylindrical surface is left this one we needed to make uh, this and the same process uh, so for this one we are going to uh, show this sketch so click on this sketch and click on this eye icon so you can see this sketch then go to reference geometry plane and for the first plane select this this line and for the second reference select this point so it will have a plane normal to this line okay now select this plane and it will the window will show and select sketch or you can go here on sketch and it will ask on which plane you want to make the sketch so select this plane and go to normal to you okay and select the circle and randomly draw a circle here at anywhere and this circle has a dimension of 0 0.75 and now i am going to see if i can select this region so select this point and this point and add a relation coincident between them okay now we did it exit the sketch and go to feature extrude base boss and we needed to define up to surface and for this surface selection select this inner surface and same way open the sketch on this on this tab and uh, you can go to normal to you and zoom by rotating the middle wheel the wheel of middle mouse button and then select the circle and go to this edge to activate the center of this circle and here it's activated so uh, left click to draw the circle and then drag to like that and place it then smart dimension tool and 5 divided by 16 zoom out then go to feature extruded cut and here up to surface rotate the model by pressing the middle mouse button and select this surface and make this cut like that then we are going to go to this sketch 3 hide it also hide this plane 3 hide all the planes and now our model is ready so just define the material 6061 aluminium alloy select the material 
right click edit material minimize it go to aluminium alloys 6061 6061 T4 SS apply it no our model is ready okay thank you so much